Oh, black. Yeah, I don't like the look of that way. We're gonna take it this route. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, 
is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just, just in time. Do you ever think to ask that? <laughs> what happened to her? Alright, so monster's gone, right? He went the other way. We're just going across the hall. Come on, close the door. to that door. Or is it over here? Nope. Yeah, just broke right through it. All that for oil? <laughs> I would have gave <laughs> I would have gave up oil in a tinder box for that scare to be missed. storage. Free items. What is this? Glass jar. Okay. I'm gonna save again and you can't stop me.
seriously, what am I gonna do?